Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Well, this is nice. Someone is making a decision to release themselves from some toxic situation, toxic environment, family, home, petty arguments, mind games, power struggles. That is what you're releasing yourself from with judgment. Wow, I like that. Let's see, what is the person on Leo's mind stance? Scorpio again. Um, okay, how is this person feeling? You both be, seem to be focused on your finances. In their stance, we have death, operate justice in reverse. This person is trying to... Okay, and why justice? How is this person viewing Leo? Emotionally unavailable. Someone who doesn't have anything to invest emotionally. You may have found some sort of truth about out about this situation. But they see you in your power here, Ace of Swords, someone who's thinking clearly. And some of you have cut them out because you felt it was one-sided. Six of Pentacles in reverse. There is attraction here for you. You're coming through as a little bit intimidating, right? You are in your element. Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. A little bit intimidated here, I'm seeing. But you're both coming through as quite powerful individually. They're coming through as the King of Swords. They have some sort of decision to make, but it feels like they're thinking that they don't have what it takes or for whatever reason their hands may be tied here with hangman but it's an energy where someone is patiently observing they haven't quite left the situation but i am getting a little bit of libra here in indecision so you you're coming through as emotionally closed off especially if this person was leaving you hanging I see you focused on your business because you're not wanting to be a part of drama or any conflict here. So I see you diverting your attention to yourself. It's I, me, myself, King of Pentacles in reverse. Very focused on your stability here, lovers. Yeah, I think you feel it. There is a strong physical attraction. If you had to if you had a decision to make, I see you distracting yourself with your work. I don't see you really... I don't see you both investing here. I feel like this person still wants to, but you seem to be... seeing things for what they are and trying to move forward here. Some of you may have found a new love and this may be a past person I'm picking up on. Yeah, this person feels like you found out some sort of truth, seven of wands. If they were manipulating you in the past, there was some form of cheating here. They may have been caught, so they can't really pull the wool over your eyes, right? That is how they were seeing you. If there was any confidence, self-worth issues, this person sees you back in your power, right? We have the crown here, and she's wearing the crown with the queen of wands. Regardless of gender, that is your energy. Someone bold someone who knows themselves, someone who takes action. What is the potential outcome? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is two people that aren't on the same page. 
someone was cut out here, maybe even blocked. They weren't putting in the work. It felt one-sided, so someone blocked the other or turned their back. In their actions, we have Knight of Cups in reverse, Seven of Cups. Yeah, I don't see them making plans to come towards you. I don't see much action. This person is confused by their options, or they're trying to keep their options open. I mean, if you've cut them out with the Eight of Swords, they have no choice. But I'm seeing someone who's turning their back, emotionally withdrawing and exploring what else is... They're exploring what else is out there. As a result, your outcome, Four of Wands in reverse, I don't see you two coming together. There's no stability. But if there was any stress, when it comes to the situation, I see you releasing, right? That was the overall judgment, releasing the past and healing. Yeah, is there new love coming in? We have Page of Wands upright, High Priestess in reverse. There is a message that is wanting to be expressed, or this may be a page, a messenger. Pages are always messengers, right? So yes, there is new love, a sense of curiosity, wanting to embark on a new adventure. I don't know if you see this coming with High Priestess. Some of you may have a hard time um, listening to your intuition or you doubt your intuition. There can be also a tendency to focus on one specific energy and not seeing what else is out there. And if that is the case, they are saying that you do have options if you choose to pursue them. There's someone who's wanting to pursue you. So is there a new love? We have Page of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. The other half, someone that is on a similar vibration. You both will feel very comfortable together and this is someone who will want to send you that message, pursue you. If this high priest as you know, that message in regards to intuition doesn't apply to you, it can be that there's someone here that's wanting to move things forward with you, a newer person, but they're not sure how to proceed. Yeah, some of them feel like they, a little bit of, it'll be difficult to tell because King of Wands upright is someone who is similar to yourself, right? very confident, goes after what they want, but in this case, this person's a little bit uncertain here um, in you know, how to approach you. But there's definitely new love wanting to come in for you. Some of you don't know what I'm talking about, High Priestess in Reverse, you're in the dark. It's meant to be like that, right? Perhaps unexpected. Yeah, you're not seeing. Do you see the sun in Reverse? Sun upright is seeing things clearly, right? Clarity out in the open. It's, you're in the dark here. Some of you have no idea. Strength. There can be a situation that really took a toll on you, left you drained, confused, right? High priestess, we're having a hard time. There's too many messages. It's foggy. And it, this is your energy in reverse. Sun, strength, Leo in reverse. There is someone that left you depleted. You felt weak. But if that is the case, you will be healing and moving forward. Or you're needing to. Some of you will have a choice, or you did, with the lovers. That can be a decision, right? Two pathways. We have two people here. King of Swords, King of Wands. Yeah, this person that you were dealing with here in the past was afraid of commitment. Can be a new person as well. Drought. Someone here feels like there's no options, or they don't have options, there's no good options. There's a drought when it comes to someone's love life. I can see it in this person's energy with the Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords. Right, they were wanting to explore their other possibilities, but they're not quite fulfilled with the options being presented to them. How will the person on Leo's mind feel about Leo here, September? One of you is keeping the other at a distance. King of Swords can be a detached energy as well, but we have doubt here, right? Again, either physical distance or we have water here, emotional distance. I can see both. He's offering her a bouquet of flowers and she's saying, I don't know about you. So you may have had a hard time trusting this individual for whatever reason. You may have felt that there was other people involved. Jealousy. A 
that someone here very guarded and mistake bad attitude it's a mutual energy it feels she's throwing the heart into the dustbin someone here has been dealing with a few frogs is it you leo frog after another one frog after another But this person feels like this pathway towards you is blocked. It'd be a mistake to come towards you. But it can be that fate has blocked this pathway, right? It's a mistake. Both of your cards are problem. How will the person on Leo's line be feeling? You're out of my comfort zone. I'm not used to dating someone like you. There's different personalities. I'm seeing that. Queen of Wands, King of Swords. Two very powerful energies, right? Which is why Five, five of Swords. Either there's some miscommunication or just a trouble communicating here with one another. I'm seeing trust issues on both ends, but a new person that's wanting to come in when I asked about new love seems to be more aligned with you and there's a lot of similarities here in terms of how you approach life some of you this can be a divorce here as well that you went through right death justice in reverse a separation legal separation Yeah, I'm getting this will be the new person's energy. Some of you have, some of you know this person, you're getting to know them. We have, you have so many after your love. How could you possibly only want me? I'm not sure if I will be enough for you. I feel like that's that King of Wands energy. I'm sorry, but I don't feel the same way about you. Please don't take it personally. If that is the case, um, you're already aware of that, right? With the Ace of Swords, which is why you may be cutting out the situation i'm afraid to hurt the people i love to be with you i'm trying to be fair to everyone involved someone's family got in the way can be interference from other people i'm obsessed with you i'm so crazy for you i do whatever it takes to always have you in my life i feel like Yeah, there was some of you were dealing with someone who was only bringing intimacy, passion, but when it comes to stability, they were nowhere to be found. If that is your message, you'll know. We have, I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego won't be able to handle it. Someone here is afraid of rejection. I feel like that is coming from the person that's more... Huh. Yeah, I feel butterflies when I'm around you. You're very intimidating. That's the past person. If, the, if this is a new person I'm picking up on, ugh, I don't see the most stable energy. I don't like your outcome here. Yeah, some of you will continue to keep your options open. You'll be dating. But there's a need here to work on emotional independence. There's some clinginess moving forward. Six of Swords. Yeah, Six of Cups, Tower in Reverse. Especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're coming through strong here. That is the person that's afraid of expressing their feelings. They're afraid of rejection, so they're avoiding coming forward, power in reverse. But they're wanting to. They have a lot of passion for you. That obsessive energy, I definitely see it. If you're dealing with a Scorpio or someone with strong Scorpio placements, perhaps 8th house.
I asked if they'll take action towards you moving into October. This person's really lacking confidence. You know, if there's no toxicity, third parties, someone didn't cheat, you know, betray you in the past, then that person is wanting to take a leap towards you with the fool, but they feel like they don't have what it takes. So that person that's afraid of rejection, they'll still be. But I feel like they will confront their fears and come forward. There's a lot of getting a few different people here coming through. Let's get you this deck. There's one person that you're completely done. You would know, right? You know your situation better. If there's someone here, you're saying there's no way that could work out. Well, yeah, four of wands in reverse. But then there's another person here that's that obsessive energy with Scorpio that really likes you but is afraid. They're intimidated. So I'm not sure. And then there, for those of you that are completely single, we also have this King of Wands. Eleven. Prefer to silently observe. Fear of expressing their love. That's confirmation. That's exactly what we are getting. Prefer to silently observe. Hangman, King of Swords. Has a decision to make hasn't left the situation seven of pentacles of expressing their love two different decks we have 77 complex situation unraveling a difficult pattern i'm not sure what that's about leo complex situation can be and we have 45 Going through life detox requires a period of incubation. I'm not sure what that word is. They are slow moving, will take a long time. One of you is too toxic. Healing work must be done. That was that devil someone was releasing themselves from. Let's end with advice. There can be external factors here getting in the way as well, Leo. Complex situation can be a third party, potentially. What advice do you have for Leo? Fertility and faith. This is a perfect time to start new projects, fall in love, change jobs, and give birth to a new abundant life. This is talking about overall abundance. I feel things will be going well if you start any new projects. It's a positive omen for you. Literally, there can be some news of a pregnancy. I'm not sure. And we have faith. Have faith in the universe. Let it impress you with its magic. Enjoy the beautiful journey. Yeah, you're, have, you're, <laughs> you're being asked to trust and step forward into the unknown, right? High Priestess, I was seeing a lot of darkness there here. And say no. Say no to, t wow. This is crazy. One of you is too toxic. They're saying, say no to toxic connections. Say no to tainted offers and influences around you that are very harmful. Do you see that? And they're saying, wait. Say no, wait. Don't feel rushed to make a decision, lovers. Right. Don't be. Don't feel rushed to make a decision right now. Spend time alone meditating upon what truly makes you happy. So take things slow. Take a step back if you need to. If you have a decision to make, don't feel rushed. Right. Take your time. Here is your advice. But some of you, they're telling you say no to toxicity. That is where I'll leave you, Leo. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you sometime next week. Bye.